Hello, good evening. I tell you what, today I haven't done nothing. You know, I usually go out, don't you? And uh, I go down this country lane and everything. No, not a country lane, a cycle track. And I go down there and um, and I look at everything, nature and stuff like that. And I thought, no, nah, it's a bit cold today, so I stay in and everything and um, get tonight's show ready. And you know, because I had around about three or four shows today. Anyway, busy. <laughs> busy, busy. Anyway, welcome. Uh, hi. <laughs> it's so wonderful been, to be in your show. I've been trying to work out your name all day. What's your name? Mariam Hashemi. Right, okay then. Mariam Hashemi. Hashemi. <laughs> so it's Mar- every Everyone um, thinks it's Marianne, but it's right. Mariam. Mariam. Uh, so there is a name in the end. Okay. And Hashemi is, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Eshimi, I don't know how to describe it's Eshimi, um a Japanese name it sounds Japanese doesn't it Hashimoto yeah. sounds... Hashimoto yeah. <laughs> Hashimoto is a Japanese name no it's it's, it's from Iran uh, oh, right. the surname comes from is Hashem Hashemi meaning that this um, it basically is a, is a very common surname in Iran that kind of relates to the descendants of um, Prophet Muhammad uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's a very common name, but not here. <laughs> no, not here. No, no, not here. No. I thought, oh gosh, is it, is it a Japanese name? Yeah, it, uh, it sounds it sounds a little little Japanese. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It sounds. To, I've been trying to work out your um, details all day. I'm thinking, uh, Mary, I'm Mary. I am I'm a like... mystery. I am a mystery indeed. <laughs> I'm Iranian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, tell every tell everybody um, about yourself. Um, well, I'm an, uh, I'll start. <laughs> I'm an Iranian artist. Uh, I'm based in London. I've been living in London from 2002, and um, I've been active in um, mainly to begin with. It was visual arts and. Gradually, I was drawn to acting. I mean, I always liked a little acting, but I never studied it, but I always enjoyed it. So um, I've always been kind of involved with friends projects or they would ask me to be involved and um, started working with uh, Iranian theater in, I found a group in London, um, artists that wanted to work and I worked with them a little bit. So the, I gradually realized that, you know, I think I can act. <laughs> so I started that too, along alongside um, doing doing art, which is mostly painting. And I'm also very into. Um, recently, I really enjoy performance, live art as well, and um, sometimes installation. So it's a little bit of everything. And the older I get, it seems I add more layers. And uh, and. Mm. For a long while, it was always a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of dance. Little, and recently, I started a tiny bit of singing as well. So um, it's all coming together eventually. But I feel like they're all getting closer. For, to begin with, all my interests, mm. all the different worlds I love to be involved with were very separate. But now yeah. they're starting to come together to be one whole universe. Yeah, yeah. I, I was looking at your website. And um, and looking at all the art on there and everything, what you're doing, yeah. and, and I you. find it, it, you know, I find it fantastic. You, oh, you thank do, you. You do a wonderful job with all your art and everything. And, thank um, you so much. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I was, I was looking at it and I was thinking. Um, by the way, guys, we on the next interview we will get pictures and everything of of all, you know of um of all the heart and everything that she's doing it's it's unbelievable i'll get some pictures up sometime oh that's so sweet we, thank you uh, and we'll thank get you so that much. Out on our website too so <laughs> thank but you so much how long does it what do you do do you just kind of like pick an object or do you kind of like... well i tell you how i work it's um a little unusual not that unusual but it's um because i work for imagination so but it's more of a collaboration. It's a collaboration with the, with the surface that I'm working on and also uh, with maybe some ideas that I've got. But I really enjoy it to be a surprise. So the way I work is that I start with a blank surface. And, you know, I find that recently, uh, in recent years, I'm aware that the white canvas is so intimidating or a light. Um, just one second. Sorry. I think I need to ask my partner not to hoover. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> Benja? I don't think you can hear me. I'm going to carry on. Is, is, it, is it, can you hear the Hoover? Is it too much? No, you're, oh, you're, you're okay. You're okay. Don't worry. Okay, good, good. I thought maybe yeah. it's disrupted. Yeah, That's yeah. Fine. Um, so I start with, I noticed that the white um, background, it, it can be really intimidating because you, you're really feeling under pressure to create something really good. So I noticed that it's all, all, it was also a tip from another artist that, you know, start with a, colored background and it's a lot easier so it's yeah, a good okay. tip if anybody wants to work just make sure your background is not just blank white it's a lot easier so i create a pattern i create a bit of paint i create a little bit of um um just it looks it's starting to look like a little bit like an abstract painting and once i create the the, the texture and a pattern then i start looking in these patterns and i find uh, and I start seeing imagery. So whatever I see that I like, I outline and I finish it as 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 the characters and the figures and the painting. So it's a uh, very playful. It's like looking for the images. It's like extracting them out of um, uh, out of this pattern, and as though they're there already. And I'm just finding them so it's it's a collaboration it's not mm. always that i decide what i want to do and i do it sometimes i'm inspired by something that i see that it, that um, resembles for example a nose i sometimes I start with a nose and, and the whole face appears and sometimes i really like to i mean recently i did a live uh, interview and i did a live work so the way it worked was again i had prepared my my surface and I would create a bit of lines and a bit of pattern. And then people would be asking me, oh, can you do a fish? Can you do, can you do a suitcase? And can I have an alien, please? So like all the we'll people that are in I would love, honestly, I would love that. I had so much fun doing it and it was such yeah. a playful thing. And mm. people could also identify that, hey, I can see something, I can see a mushroom, and I can see like, so, so I painted all of that just based on what people were mm. um, giving me. So, mm. so it's, I like to have fun with them. And of course I can do things seriously. I can do, you know, traditional not traditional classic style as well but it's yeah. not as much it's not fun i don't enjoy doing things um that look like resemble a real um object or a person um and i haven't done it for some time to be honest i struggle doing it i'm a bit rusty with making things exactly how they look yeah. so i enjoy just having this playful approach and let it just form itself it's yeah. The, the, trouble is with art, the trouble is with art is that I find it very difficult because when I used to be at when I was at school, when I used to be, um, when I was at school, I used to kind of, the first thing what I had to draw was number one, um, fruit. Yes. I was told to draw some fruit, you know, banana or apple, whatever it was. And my bananas used to be like, oh, well, hold on, what can I say? <laughs> Flying saucers. Um, apples used to be like, um, I don't know if they're, you know, um, whatever, football's probably, you know, and, um, and, um, then the, the second thing is, the second thing is, was perspective, you know, kind of like going to the, the point in the, on yes. the white canvas yes. Yes. and just kind of like coming out the gut and build and doing houses, you know. And yes. Yeah, houses. yeah. Yeah. You have to and do I'm, the lines and then yeah, start yeah, placing the yeah. And um and actually I was quite good at that. So I yes. thought to myself I thought to myself, I take this for my exam, my art exam. Now, my teacher, she said to me, You won't pass your art. You know. Because to, to be fair with her, to be fair with her, um, she was right really because I was useless. I was but you were good at perspective, right? Yeah, yeah. I was so useless. I was useless. maybe maybe there were parts that you didn't find enjoyable or or you couldn't do them as good, but maybe you could do other things. You know, there's so, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so anyway, so my project was for my exam was to draw your partner when she is around about 
50 or 60 years old. That's hard. Right? So I thought, well, what am I going to do here? So anyway, I threw <laughs> it. I started doing some circles and filling it in, doing some lines on it, doing the eyes and everything, and doing all the air and everything. And she looked at me and she said, is that really going to be really me when you're 60 years old? And I said, yeah. <laughs> and she drew me, she drew me as an old man with a walking stick. Oh, no. <laughs> right? With a bum bag, you know, those bags. And I thought, how oh, dare you? So anyway, so the long story short was <laughs> that about three weeks later after the exam, I found out that I passed my heart exam. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't believe nice. it. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. And, um, you know, and they were all shocked. But see, the trouble is, did you ever go to college or did you have to go to... I studied uni? graphic design. Yes, I studied uh, graphic design. But I always drew because uh, when I was a child, life was very boring. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I and I enjoyed entertaining myself. I grew up in Iran. It was during a war. I grew up with my grandparents. And uh, we only had two TV channels. And there weren't many kids around. So I really had to uh, entertain myself. Yeah. So drawing was something that obviously I picked up. I can't remember when I started drawing. So I always enjoy drawing. And I, would, and I was self-taught. So I would, for example, if I liked an image, I would imitate it usually it would be either a portrait or it would be like um, not i did i wasn't too keen on landscapes i have to say uh, right. i really liked i really liked images that had figures or animals in it so i would yeah. love to i always like to um, copy them not just just try to imitate it without tracing them and then i basically got better at it because I spent so long doing it so when I was at school I was always noticed uh, like oh you're really good I had you know I was obviously better. I spent more time doing doing fun, <laughs> doing drawing so I obviously uh, went and studied graphic design because at, the, at that time it was considered um, the best option because it would be it would have some um, you'd be able to at least make some money as an yeah. artist, because yeah. just being an artist. So, so it was considered as a good option. I never worked as a graphic designer. Maybe I did a few. I really yeah. hated it. I enjoyed them studying it, and uh, which was really enjoyable. And I learned a lot. But when it, com when it came to um, actually working as a graphic designer, I realized, you know what? I actually don't like this. <laughs> because <laughs> <doing> <laughs> Because yeah. the studying it was it involved so many different things, lots of different projects, and we did a lot by hand. And we always had the sculpture and, and, and photography, and we just learned in so many different ways. And it was just so many things. But when it came actually working with clients, I realized I actually don't like to do things that people ask. I just want to do my thing. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you like so drawing, uh, I mainly did illustrations. Sometimes, yeah. to be honest, uh, I I get bored of it a lot. Do you? So I don't do m m many. I do I do life modeling. Right. <laughs> I don't do the drawing. <laughs> but I don't do the drawing. <laughs> it's. Um, I, re I remember. I remember yeah, going I to. Go. Yeah, I remember going to college once, and um, when I was at college, I had to do life drawing of a person. And they were kind of like, you know, naked and everything. And that was a bit embarrassing because, yeah. you know, I had to. But it, but, it you know, would be the first time is that. Yeah. 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 But you get used to it. Like, used to it, like the, 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 the more than once, um, then, then you, you realize, oh, you know, then, then you. The, 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 tr the trick is to treat the model as an object. Because <laughs> that's what they are. Yeah, we all are. That's, like, it's me. funny, like you're not going to get as objectified. But when you become a subject for an art, whether it's a sculpture or, and I've done lots of portraits, and it's amazing. I, I, I mean, sitting, I, I, I wouldn't do that because I don't have the patience. I want to do my thing and play around 
and and just you know but I, but I can't I don't have the patience to model up to sometimes that's what the model is sitting for I have it very short poses because I would do really quick ones whenever there is a long pause a long... <laughs> <laughs> I get bored very quickly it's just the mentality and and I think how you like to work uh yeah. and it's interesting so when i've never realized that when when you're as a model and it's interesting to be a model and see how people work and also do do it be on the other side as well um yeah. the interesting thing is that you really become an object you become a surface and it, people sometimes can even like talk to you as if you're not there and they do <laughs> they forget sometimes that you're a living person and you need to move because you, your circulation is like in trouble now. And it's so interesting to see how people are focusing on the shadows and the color and the angle and you become only shapes and um, shadows. It's really, really yeah, interesting. It's really What's the most very interesting experience. What's the most embarrassing moment you, you ever had to join somebody? Ever drawing someone? Yeah. I haven't had an embarrassing situation drawing someone. Let me let me think. Let me give me a second. Um, <laughs> okay. No, but you see, because I haven't just spent enough time drawing people. I've usually drawn from memory, so I okay. actually haven't done enough. Um, okay. How about modeling? How about models? modeling then? How about modeling yourself? You know, about... embarrassing situation modeling. Uh, let me see. Well, you would think there would be more than like, you would think there would be many, but I, I, I am very shameless. Mm. I'm not easily embarrassed. Uh, probably embarrassed in situations that are not embarrassing, <laughs> but um, I can't think of I can't think of an embarrassing situation actually. No. Okay. That's, Sorry. Can, can just, no, that's okay. I want to talk about um, Iran, where you come from. Then I then after that I want to yep. get, I'll get on to your acting and whatever. Um, of course, yes. I wh where you come from. Um, so when you were staying with your parents in Iran, was it what was it like? Because you know, because the, the war was going on, wasn't it? And you were, yeah, that yeah. must have been a scary situation, wasn't it? It was very scary, was scary. Uh, but because I, um, I was very when you're a child, and the whole thing is happening around you, and that's what you used to because. Um, since I could remember, there was war because I, I was. Well, the war started. I, when did it start? 82, 80s, early eighties. I'm not. I'm not. My, I'm, my history is not great. Don't quote me on it. Eighty two. Eighty two. Yeah. Eighty two. Yeah. So um, I was very young. I was. I, I'm born in seventy seven. So. So, I was very young. So since I could remember, there was war. And you just accept it as your reality. Adults are a lot more scared. And kids are, I think kids can kind of adjust. And they're just able to just uh, be kids as well. And I was lucky. Um, I lived in Tehran at the time. So Tehran didn't get as, I mean, the border cities were very badly affected. Um, but places like Tehran, um, we were, you know, we were being bombed as well, and it was terrifying. But um, by the time, obviously, you receive that, the the, the bombs arrive, and a lot of times um, are, you know, they 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 fight back and and they draw them out of the city, so you don't yeah, get yeah. that much damage that you would if you're actually at the uh, on the uh, living in the border city. Yeah, yeah. So we were lucky. Yeah in that sense. But it was still, of course, terrifying. The world was everywhere. The world was all around us. And it was just part of our everyday reality. Yeah, to the point that, yeah. for example, we'd go to school and we have posters of, of dead martyrs, people like dead soldiers. And we were private. Imagine a primary school 
with posters, an exhibition of dead soldiers on the walls as permanent feature. Why? And that's, Why? That Why was, do they do that? and they were very. They were trying to basically just portray what was going on and oh, what was happening and partly was a bit i, I would say that was a bit intent too much but um the, 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 that was unnecessary to do it to that degree um but our tv was just constantly footage of war and you just you just see the reports of war and what's happening all the time and we don't you know you know with with injured and dead soldiers everywhere and it's just something that you um you, that becomes your reality. And it is terrifying. I was scared of everything as a child. And mostly the, the main thing I was scared was losing my parents. Yeah, yeah. And that was the most terrifying thing. But um, you just live with it. And of course yeah. the damages are done. And of course you notice it later, growing older, you realize, oh, a lot of your things is rooted to that upbringing, that kind of um, um, stressful and fearful time. But I personally had numbed that down. So as a child, I didn't want to be scared. And I remember systematically working on myself to be brave. Mm. I was a funny child. So I really, <laughs> I, I didn't want to be scared of anything because everything was really scary. The, the life was so scary. So I really tried to be fearless and kind of numb myself to the point that I would laugh at things. That, I laughed at things that weren't funny at all mm. and it's just how i wired myself i just try to my my defense mechanism yeah. so yeah it was yeah. a it was it was a very um very difficult world uh and anybody coming from that background of having that environment of war and destruction it's it's terrifying but it also toughens you up in a in a, in a strange way yeah. uh, at the same time as it's damaging you but you know you yeah. Like the tolerance goes higher. It's weird. Do you do you get um kind of like you know just does, does the memories come back? I mean, of do course, it's nightmares? not. I don't. No, no, no. That um no because um it wasn't. It was terrifying thing, but I was dealing with it as a child to make it like <laughs> um okay for myself. So I could mm. deal with it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it wasn't something that I was uh, feeling that um, it was affecting me. Mm. It, like, because it was the reality. The main thing that I, uh, I, I would be terrified, I would be terrified thinking about losing my family. That was a scary thing. That was the main fear. Not when it was actually, when you would hear the sound of the bombs falling. That wasn't necessarily the the most terrifying thing he was just thinking like oh what if it falls on my head oh my god you know yeah. it, it was it was very very strange it was very very strange but at the same time it was um there was a there was a strange closeness that was happening between people because all the families were very close and they would you would have a shelter and some houses they lived in like um apartments they would all go in the basement and it was only me and my grandparents but that basement was really cozy at the same time you have this cozy coziness and yeah. you have this closeness and this warmth that is happening yeah. in in times of trauma that happens yeah. around people and communities and that was yeah. that was there you know it was a very beautiful yeah. colorful thing so what it wasn't all terrifying it was also that warmth that people really looked out for one another and oh, um, it was that was a beautiful thing like there was i remember there was yeah. a footage of one of the times that everybody were had had and, and there were times that we had the um, uh um, missiles attack so uh, it was so regular that we just had to people just had to leave their homes and just live in shelter for some time because it was just so unpredictable and people were having weddings down there there was a footage of these people they were supposed to have a wedding they're like ah we're just gonna have a wedding there was a wedding happening in the shelter i was like yes <laughs> you guys <are> so cool. <laughs> really <laughs> because it's like hey you never know let's just live now you know <laughs> <laughs> so what made you come over to the uk then i was uh, born here i was born right. here and my parents lived in birmingham uh, All right. so i was born here and soon after i was born um they were separated 
So um, my mother took me to Iran, and uh, um, that's that's how I ended up with my grandparents. That's where um, my grandparents lived, and so yeah, that's how I ended up um, in in Iran. But because obviously I was born here, I was. Um, considered the British, um, I received yeah. the British passport because I was considered yeah. a British citizen. Which coming coming here, it was a lot easier because I know a lot of other Iranians. If they want to come and work and study, it's far more complicated for them. Mm. Like for me, it was just deciding and and just just deciding that okay, I'm going to go now. Mm. And um, I feel very lucky for that because I know how complicated it is. And of course, you still struggle. I still had to struggle to settle in London. London is a very difficult city and I had no idea where to begin, how to settle, what is it I wanted to do, <laughs> what do I want to, yeah, what, no. what no, work no. am I looking for? It was a very confusing time for yeah, me yeah. and I was still discovering myself and imagine you discover yourself in London. It's so many, it's very, very challenging and oh, I still yeah, had yeah. to go through the similar challenge uh, for anybody uh, arriving, any immigrant arriving. To England oh, and no. trying to settle. I was like, still facing the same thing, even though I had family and support and everything. I had mm. uncles living here for years, but I still um, had to go through my own um, struggles to really we used to, settle. We used to go to, I, I you know, I've, 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 sorry, I've always lived in the UK all my life, and me and my wife used to have to go to London for filming and TV and stuff. And you know, we we hated it. We hated London. You know, <laughs> it's harsh. No, no, I'm not trying to be harsh about you know about we hated. No, London. but London think, is a harsh city. It's it it's is, a yeah, bit, yeah, yeah, it, especially yeah. at the beginning. It's a bit like, who are you? Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pushes you um, away. But if you stay, you like if you stay long enough, it's a, it says, ah, hey, you're all right. You can stay. Yeah, yeah. You it's the attitude company, of London. Yeah. Yeah, ah, you're, yeah. cool. you're cool, you're cool. Here you go. Come, yeah. come, um, come hang out with us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Um, uh, then, so so after that, you kind of like, um, what made you go into acting then after that? Because you went into I acting. always liked acting. That's, that's the thing. Um, and probably if uh, my grandmother wasn't against it, my grandma was did, didn't think acting was a very good idea at all because it was like oh no I do, this is not a good scene it's not uh, it's not a good reputation being an actor because from her generation probably actors were not far from prostitutes right. in, in her mind it was very like that wasn't the case <laughs> you know but like coming from a very old fashion like no 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 it's not a good scene because obviously people in uh, actors like artists are open minded men and women work together and maybe from a traditional um, uh, kind of point of view it's like no 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 no. why are they all mixing like that that's not right so, so she was very against it so I, I wanted to study um, acting I wanted to go um, study theatre and act but she was like no way but I thought it wasn't that strong that desire wasn't that strong I just felt like um, and I loved acting when we were at school we, we always have theatre um, and we, and sometimes we would just make our own stories and just just play like have improvs it oh, just yeah. because it was fun and we old yeah. kids always do improv all the kids do it all the time naturally and i enjoyed doing that with with friends and we would just come up with a whole story and characters and just just improv and um so it was something that felt um natural to me mm. and um so I didn't didn't go that way because my grandma was just very seriously against it. And I felt like I, I just I enjoy drawing and you know art anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. And then you know, um, in England, I thought that's a good thing in London. You can try out a lot of things, mm. and it's wonderful. It's wonderful for that. So I thought, oh, maybe I can try. Maybe I can try acting and see how that goes. So. I opened to it and I could see opportunity for being in a play, in an Iranian play. And um, and it, that was the start of it. I just thought I'd like, give it a go. And it was it was good to just go on the stage and realize, hey, you know, I can I can actually I'm okay. It's putting yourself on that place and it's a bit scary because if you haven't done the training, you think maybe it's not gonna work, but just there. Mm. 
Mm. You're frozen. <laughs> I think you're frozen. Come up and come back on again if you can hear me. <laughs> if you can, if you can kind of like go off and come back again, the signal's gone. We won't be a second. Sorry, we've been having some issues with the signal. Hopefully, she'll be back. Anyway, how is everybody today? I hope everybody's all right. I'm just going to have a quick drink. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, we're just waiting. Here we go. Am I back? Here I am again. You're back. All what right. Happened? I had to kind of go back and kind of refresh the page. It's just yeah, flip. yeah. That's okay. Yeah, so, I'm back. So, but you acting, you were in a play. So yes, I was in a play, and that it wasn't necessarily a very successful uh, uh, kind of thing, but uh, it was fun, and I enjoyed yeah. it. And then there were other occasions, and also there were friends that were making films. So it was a little bit here and there, step by step. I kind of got it more involved, and getting from the feedback that people ha liked what I, um, how I act, I noticed well as well. Well, it's good. So I'm getting the thumbs up. Move. <laughs> so, uh, and it was just something that um, I did alongside a little bit, like tiptoeing around it right. for a long while. For a long while, I just tiptoed around it. And then, since a couple of years ago, I decided to take it a bit more seriously. And uh, so I um, opened up to. Um, having a profile like i started with the profile on star now and yeah, yeah. Um, start doing some extra work because i just love to know more about this world and just experience being just behind the scene that on its own especially big productions when you're there like <laughs> look at it. all that is happening is just really fascinating i just love every little aspect of production mm. and how things come together i just love that world so much so what what kind of things have you done then so i've done um uh, the extra work with some of the first steps like there are a few things that i am you can see my hair in a background like in, in last christmas you can see me as a homeless in a background and then you can see me in a um jingle jangle as one of the, the town folks and there are things like that that that, that 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 is not really um you can't really kind of see me act but then um in uh recent uh, this year i've done a short film which was fantastic. It was a lovely um, um, speaking part, and um, it was um, called Walk Out One, and uh, by Riman Sadani, and which was funded by um, Film and Windy, um, Film and um, Video Umbrella, and uh, Jerwood Space. All right. And uh, which was shown in, in um, Jerwood Arts, which was shown in Jerwood Space. But it was during the whole lockdown and maybe we had um, only um, a very short preview, maybe just for a few days. And then it was the lockdown again. So it didn't, we didn't really manage to um, 
show it and really celebrate that. It was just kept, uh, but it was a great, it, it's a great project and, and I'm so proud of it. Um, um, and I look very convincing as an actor. <laughs> I look very convincing. <laughs> Especially that I'm playing a character which is not me. So this, for me, it's more like the acting. It's like I'm this other because I'm I'm comfortable in front of the camera. You know, a lot of times you can just be a character which is you. You can just yeah. play yourself, and many people do that. But I'm really enjoying when when um, there are projects that I can actually access a different part of myself and have a different look. So that's when I'm transforming into a different character i really enjoy that so there are other there are music videos that are still in the pipeline and, and all happen like that and the um, projects that i've been involved with this year and there's also um another short film just called unwrapped um which was very interesting because i was i was playing an artist who is working with a model on zoom very right. interesting very very interesting i'm so looking forward to seeing that it's going to be very exciting Brilliant. and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be very interesting, uh, and yeah, so there's like lots of lots of um, little things going on. Um, there's like stuff that's still happening in the pipeline, so I'm still, and I also enjoy modeling. So so that's like for the camera. So I'm doing I'm doing those too because um, what kind of I noticed, what kind of modeling are you doing then? Well, I'm um, at the moment uh, there have been some um work with the sun it was like it, but it was basically just an interview um and basically i was just it was about gray hair <laughs> with people that decided to go gray so that was fun so a few shoots for that and um there was like there, there's some um, commercial modeling uh, for uh, advertisement and i was also in this advert um um uh, on it was the, this whole it might still show i'm trying to remember the company i'm so bad with remembering exactly what i've done i just do it and forget about it <laughs> <laughs> it's it's um it's for i think is it william hill no it's not william hill um one of the um one of the gambling um all right i forgot what which ones are they? But one of those, it's it's an advert uh, that I just laugh. It's just my laugh. Is it on television? Is it? It is on um, Comedy Central, and oh, it's airing. It? It's airing at the moment, so it's it's basically on until next and year. It's, it's just your voice laughing or something. I'm just laugh. I'm just laughing. It's it's not only me. There are other people as well. It's just the laughter. Uh, it was really fun doing it because. Uh, you get paid to laugh, really. That's great. <laughs> and I can laugh quite easily. But they obviously, it was, it was really fun. And it was just, it was very pleasant because you could just hear everybody going. And because there's a big group of people that are laughing. Mm. So mm. one after another, so you could just hear all these people just laughing, just going and laughing. And the next. <laughs> the <one. laughs> Look, it, was, it was a really fun shoot. <laughs> so funny. Um, Look, thank you very much for joining me. I, My pleasure. You, you, you've been you've been really really good. Um, you know, it's um sometimes laughter is that's what we need through these troubled times. Laughter is the greatest medicine, really, yeah. because if you, when you laugh, you just feel how your body is vibrating. Yeah. It's a it has a very important healing effect. So we need to laugh. Oh yeah, I put my, I put jokes on my Facebook sometimes to make people it's laugh. So yeah. important. And, and you know, just I only share jokes. Like, life oh, is too serious, especially these days. It's terrifying. Of course, it is, isn't it? Of course, it yeah. Is. We need to laugh. Yes, we need to laugh a lot. I think you know, you ready? You, you did that for me today, definitely. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, I will, um, you know, be in touch. But thank you it would very be much. Be lovely for to hear thank back you from much. you. Thank you for having me. This was really lovely, lovely chatting to you. Sorry Thank I couldn't you. find an embarrassing moment to make you laugh. I'll try to think of one for the next time. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You know, it's I get notes of it. I get kind of like people like um, you know, get all sorts of people on here. And the best one I've had so far is um someone on stage and they're actually singing and the workmen was underneath the stage, they're working. 
and um, someone pressed the, um, you know, the um, trap door. Yeah. yeah. Right. And all of a sudden, the, the singer kind of like actually went through the trap door, and no Ooh. one was in there. I re I just remembered. I just remembered one modelling. Yes, I had a very similar one. I had a very similar one. I was sitting. I was sitting like a. I was very much sitting like a queen as well, with like, like you know, having my hair up and having like a dress and having a like creating somewhere at the throne and. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole the thing toilet. tipped over. <laughs> the whole thing tipped over with my legs in the air. But I wasn't naked, so if I was naked, it would have been hilarious. But it was still very funny, and the whole class were laughing. And it was, it was, it was a slightly embarrassing, but it was kind of funny. Yeah. Not embarrassing. It was, you know, it was a little bit of a shock, but it was very good comedy moment. <laughs> you got to have a laugh. <laughs> I will be in church soon after I finish here. But thank you so much. I really so much. It was so, thank you so much. It was lovely chatting to you and being on your show. Thank you. And thank you very much. Thank you. Have a wonderful bye. evening. And you. Bye-bye. God bless. Lots of bye -bye. love. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. There you go. Um, well, there you go. Iran, you know, in the war and everything. And um, she does art around. She came over this country and uh, she started to stay in this country. She's still going back to doing art. Then, and then not only that, she started doing acting, you know. Um, so I guess what you get from that is you never give up on your dreams. And can you imagine it? Or can you imagine it for one sec that you're a young person? And um, and the war is going around you. Wouldn't that be scary, eh? You know, if you're a young person and the war and bombs are falling over you and everywhere, not falling you on you, you know, but falling around you. You know, I bet that's scary. Anyway, that was really good, really good chat. But anyway, I've got to go. And um, I'll see you later on. Take care and look after yourselves, guys. Bye-bye.